guys, Amy here, showing you my full nursery tour. It might seem really simple, but I put a lot of work into it. I spent a lot of time on Pinterest, watching other YouTube videos for how to organize these things, a lot of research on what to get, what was practical. So hopefully my nursery tour is useful to you if you are having a baby. So I guess I'll just go left to right. I got the Arm & Hammer diaper pail because I figured Arm & Hammer has a pretty good reputation with stuff that stinks. There's a, a Google Home which is kind of handy. And then I just, I've read everywhere that changing tables are kind of useless so I just use the top of the dresser as a diaper changing station. Got a little diaper caddy. Some diapers. I've heard this brush is good for getting in the baby's crack. See, it's my finger is probably not as good for butt cracks as the spatula. Um, that way I don't have stuff on my hands. I also heard that um, using a cl like cloth diaper cover can be good for blowouts. I don't know if that's true, but I'll find out. It wasn't very expensive. Let's get some diapers, wipes. I don't know if my kid's going to be allergic to stuff, so I just got these small things. Changing pad. So yeah, that's his little changing station. And then those are the prints from Etsy from Lower Woodland Studios. And then in the drawers, I googled how to fold baby clothes. And the first result was uh, KonMari folding. And it was before that Japanese lady Netflix special came out. So I didn't realize that the KonMari method was this trendy thing. So all of his stuff is konmari and I just thought it was how you fold baby clothes. So these are all the newborn onesies. His, uh... I think these are long sleeve onesies. His zipper sleepers. Got newborn pants. Uh, the kimono tops, which are really good for that newborn stump. All of his little hats, socks, pacifiers. He's got a wubba nub. His ridiculous baby eaters. Bibs. So th I have a system going. So the first drawer is like newborn size. And then the second row are uh, zero to three months, so it's the exact same things, but zero to three, three months. And then these are his pants. And then these are sleep sacks and sleep gowns. These are Velcro swaddles and all of his little shoes. Oh, uh, squatting down sucks. <sighs> I got uh, some Halo sleep sacks um, and then some more miscellaneous sleep sacks. I got a bunch of different kinds because I don't know if my baby's gonna hate a certain kind. And then this drawer is just extra diapers and wipes and all the random free samples I got from all the uh, Target and Bye Bye Baby, etc. Uh, welcome packs. Got a hamper from Target. And this is the Pottery Barn bookshelf that I'm obsessed with. I'm really psyched about the books. Uh, most of them were gifts. Um, Hand-me-downs from my little cousins, from my grandpa's condo, from baby's grandparents. So it's a really nice spread of classics and new books. And this was also from Lower Woodland Studio. And this is my frigging glider that finally came in from Bye Bye Baby after all the harassment. <laughs> and then I just uh, put one of the baby's blankets on the back with a, and then I got a throw pillow from Target. And then I'm probably going to rearrange this, but uh, I'm going to sit down. Uh, this is uh, the utility cart from Ikea. I've heard this is super useful, but right now I just stuffed a bunch of random stuff in there. I got like my breast pump, I got my don't touch my baby uh, thing that drapes over his car seat, monitor, uh, this is the baby Catan, I have no idea how to hang or store this thing, 
my breast pump parts I finally sanitized in the sink. I just finally got over my anxiety doing it by thinking it was just like cooking pasta. And then some diaper cover things. Some changing pads. And then I'm a little sad. I got the the baby box free from, I think, the state. But I washed the sheet and it got a little warped. So now I don't think it's safe sleep compliant because maybe I'm just being nuts. But see right there? I guess baby can stick his face in there and die or something. I don't know if it's safe sleep compliant anymore. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, and then the dogs I impulse bought from Wayfair. <laughs> and then his crib. Uh, the world map I impulse bought from Wayfair. The mobile was from Pottery Barn. And then I got these quick zip zipper sheets. I've heard these are really good for changing in the middle of the night. Um, cause you know, if you have to change the sheet, you can just zip off this top layer and I'm the laziest person. So I really like that. And then he's got a couple stuffed animals and loveys. Rock and play will probably end up all over the house. And then his closet. I got a diaper bag. I got a little baby, lily baby carrier. Um, I have no idea how to use this thing yet. It's just this extremely intimidating contraption right now. Uh, I got the My Breast Friend pillow. A boppy lounger. Some of his cute little outfits I hung up. Little tiger feets. Um, so cute. With the bare face. Some of the stuff I just hung up because it was really warm. So if I need look at the dog butt. A little gap tracksuit. Uh, little sweater. And then I got the uh this is a activity mat. Uh it sprawls out into an activity mat. And then there's uh his documents, the document folder I got. And that bye bye baby bag is just a bunch of random coupons. Anything baby related that was a coupon I got that expires seven years from now I threw in there. Um this is kind of just in odds and ends. Things for when he's older, because, um, you know, he's probably not going to be playing with toys and teething and stuff day one. Extra trash bags. Um, that doll I bought on Amazon's clothes, I segregated them so they wouldn't get mixed up with baby clothes. And then, oh, what's in here? And these are a bunch of blankets. So I put all of his blankets in here. The other side of the closet. This little bear hood. I can't wait to dress him up. He's got a little dino hoodie. The ears. I'm never gonna get over these ear hoodies. They're so cute. Alright, what is in here? I got, these are actually cloth diaper prefolds, but everyone on YouTube said that they were better as burp cloths. And then I also got an Aiden and an I swaddle blanket. This was a free sample from Amazon. It's not Aiden and I, it's just a random one. But I got a, a fat stack of Aiden and I swaddle blankets from some random chick on the Facebook marketplace. And then, oh, getting down. And then these are zero to three month overflow. And also all the clothes that are too big for him. I'm figuring as he grows out of clothes, I'll swap them out accordingly. Yeah, that is his nursery. It seems really simple, but I, I put a lot of work into it and I'm really proud of it. It's nice to have his stuff finally organized. And Forrest decided to join us. And then right next to the nursery, 
This kid has his own bathroom, which is kind of ridiculous. That's just because we built this house and houses are really big and cheap here. So I just kind of threw his tub in there. Um, that's cat shampoo. We've only ever used this bathroom to give the cat baths. And then in here, I got a rectal thermometer because I heard that's better to take the baby's uh, temperature. And then I understand I shouldn't use this grape water or Tylenol day one. It's for when he's a little older, but they recommend having it in the house before you need it. And then this Frida baby thing is... Uh, I just stuffed a bunch of care items in here. This is his nasty cradle cap brush. It's not nasty, it's clean, but I mean if he's got a nasty scabby head. Um, the snot sucker. And then I got his nail clippers. And the nail file is in here too. And then under the sink. Oh, squatting down sucks. Why do I do this to myself? I got his tub stuff. So I got his bath th thermometer. Uh, this whale thing, which oh, I made a mess. Supposedly it's good for over their eyes. I don't know. Some extra hand soap and teepee. Um, these came with his bath. These couple hooded towels. Stack of baby washcloths. One of them was a free sample and then the rest came in a pack. And then I just kind of shoved all the free samples of baby stuff I got into this one thing. So I have like all these different kinds um, of bath stuff and I just figure um, if I find out he's not allergic to one I'll go full size. But I'll try to avoid Johnson & Johnson because they gave everyone cancer. Yeah, that was my nursery. I know it's a little goofy because he's not even going to be in his room for going to try to follow the American Pediatric Association guideline to have him in our room for the first six months to one year. But you know what? I'm a crazy nesting lady who has Pinterest and I just wanted to do it. So I did it and I do what I want. So yeah. All right. Well, we'll see how much it gets used. At least there's a nice place to change him and keep his clothes. I will keep you guys posted. Bye guys.